Hi everyone, it's Dia. I know it's been a long time, but I thought I would make a video about my current planning system, which is on my Chic Sparrow and Pocket and Allie Brown and Allie Brown Yellow and um, kind of give you a little review on what I think about it and also show you a quick look at my setup. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, you might notice that I'm in a different area. I moved about a year ago and then moved again, but I'm trying to find a good place to record with good lighting. I don't have the big, beautiful office that I used to have, but I do live very close to the beach now, so it was, um, it was a fair trade. So some quick thoughts on my Chic Sparrow. I never thought I would plan in a pocket-sized planner. I thought it would be way too small, but um, I actually bought this because the color was beautiful and I needed a little book to keep some of my cheer information in because um, I'm an assistant coach in my daughter's cheer this year, with my daughter's cheer this year. So I bought this for that to kind of carry around with me and then I noticed that I was just grabbing it and kind of shoving my ID and my debit card in it whenever I went somewhere. So I decided to turn it into my wallet and was enjoying it as my wallet. And then realized that, hey, I think I can actually use this to plan in as well because if any of you know me, I'm very simple. I don't like to use stickers really. Um, I tried for a while, I had fun decorating. I just don't have the time sometimes. And then if I don't decorate my pages, I end up not planning in it. So um, this more simple, uh, method that I've been using has really been working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys a quick look into my planner. So this is my Chic Sparrow American Dream in Allie Brown. Um, it's the deluxe version and I was lucky enough to snatch it up on the website when she had them in stock. And I think the color is absolutely gorgeous and um, it's getting darker and it's wearing really, really beautiful. This planner actually reminds me a lot of my uh, Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy and Extra Wide that I used to use as my planner. That was my favorite planner by far and my favorite setup. And I think that's probably the last setup video I actually made. But um, it just became a little bit too big and bulky to carry. So I feel like I found that again but in a much smaller size and it's um, I feel less need to decorate it and it's very, very portable. I'll open it up and show you what's inside. Here's a little bookmark that I made. I actually don't care for um, chunky planners either, but this one's actually getting a little chunky and I'm still able to write inside of it without having to take out the planner to plan, if that makes any sense. Sometimes when the planner is too chunky, I actually have to take out the book. Otherwise, writing in it is just really awkward. Okay, this is about the fourth time I'm trying to record this because they decided to uh, mow the lawn right out front of my apartment and uh, clip all the bushes and the leaf blower was taking forever to finish. So they're finally done and now the sun went away so I'm not sure um, how well lit this video is going to be, but we're going to try and finish this. So I have actually named this planner Ducky and I saw this um, at the store one day and just fell in love with him. So I actually cut him out and laminated him and he's on here and I just put a couple of Project Life cards in here, cut them down to fit just to make it look a little prettier. I don't really want to put any cards in there and stretch out the pockets or anything. So my first book is actually my little inspiration journal. Um, this is where I write down any um, inspirational quotes or um, play with my watercolors. And if my folder, if my planner does get too chunky, this will probably the first thing be the first thing to come out of it. But when I'm just sitting somewhere, sometimes I love to pull it out and look at the quotes and um, they make me feel good, they make me smile. And of course, some of the, um, I tried painting feathers. It was kind of a failed attempt. Um, and this is the Tom Tomoe, Tomoe? A Tomoe River paper. Um, so it's, it's really thin and I, I enjoy it. I love how it feels. So um, 
this is where I keep my little inspirational quotes and drawings. My second book is actually um, covered with a dashboard that I made, again, out of some Project Life um, cards. I cut them down a size and laminated them. And this is my weekly planner. These are just Moleskine um, journals. And I decided to just uh, draw in my own um, calendars. I didn't know if this system was going to work for me, and I didn't want to run out and buy anything. So um, I thought I'd just draw them in, and I actually like these a lot. It kind of taps into my creative side, but also incorporates straight lines, which I love. So uh, this is my weekly schedule over here. I made, I had one for my regular size Midori as well, but I felt like I had so much empty space in it that I needed to fill. And um, this is much better. Sometimes uh, my boxes get a little overcrowded, but for the most part, um, it's working out perfectly. This is the back of that dashboard. And my next thing is actually my wallet insert. And I did, um, a swap with somebody probably close to a year ago and she include she made this little cork insert for me um, so I'm actually still using it and I just have a picture of my husband on here there's these little pockets um, sometimes I'll put a receipt in there or if I have a points card I need to take somewhere with me I'll put them in there I just have my ID my debit card Costco membership and my Target card. That's all I carry with me. Okay, he started again, but I think he's done now. So, inside of my wallet insert, I have my list book, which um, is also just a Moleskine journal. And this is where I keep my daily to-do list along with the little bookmark that I made. And I just check these off. Sometimes I have more than one list per page. You know, sometimes I'm busier than other days and I don't want to waste any paper. So I just go ahead and draw a line and continue. In the back zipper pouch pocket of my insert, I keep a check with me. And this is where I usually put my receipts. And I forgot to mention that I got these, um, this, they're a uh, field note size and I got a pack of three of them on Amazon and I'll, they're actually really, really good quality. I'll leave the link for those down below. My final insert is um, my monthly calendar and here's just another little dashboard that I made and it says monthly planner. And again, I just went ahead and used a Moleskine journal and drew my own planner. Um, it's also, it's actually very therapeutic to me to get the ruler out and draw these straight lines. So I had a monthly calendar in my regular size Midori as well, but I was finding the need to fill in any empty space with um, doodles and stickers. And when I didn't, and I looked at my page and most of it was blank, I, I just... I wasn't in love with it. So I like this a lot better. I can fit everything in here and I don't feel the need to fill all the empty space. And this is the back end of my dashboard. I don't usually put anything in this pocket here, but I wanted to show you the pen I'm using as well. It's the Coletto pen and I love this pen. I got one for my daughter and decided I would get one for myself as well because um, I use a pencil to put most of the things in my monthly calendar and once I realize they are permanent and they are going to happen, I go ahead and write it in in pen and I love the fine point of um, these pens. I, I believe this one is a point three, and I just like how precise it is. And there's the little Chic Sparrow logo on the back. and. This is such a pretty planner. It is getting a little scratched up. It's kind of hard to see, but it wears very beautifully. I also made these little bookmarks here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Um, when I open my planner, I tend to look at it from the top and open it from the top. So I'll probably get a couple of cute paper clips to use in here and um, take this out. Cause I always forget it's down here and I really don't want anything bigger down here because I don't like to hear it clank on the table when I'm using my planner. 
So I hope you enjoyed this setup video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment area. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.